Okie dokie. So, this is the video for how to do legs. Now, I'm going to show you how you could scissor them, but I use the clippers. Um, but the way to scissor them, it is something that takes a bit of time, but it does look better. Let me put this down. What you need is a brush and obviously some scissors, or you can use a comb, it doesn't really matter, but there is a lot of brushing and combing of the legs. And the idea basically, I know darling, you don't like these being done, do you? There's a good boy. Is you brush all the hair up, like so. I know, I know. So you really need to give the legs a really good brush first. Brush all the hair up, and then you're gonna cut from it all sticking it up how much you want off, so like that. And so what I would advise doing if you want to do scissor cutting is start a line like this, downwards, and then work to that line. So you basically keep on combing up and then just cutting everything. Keep still, darling. Stay, stay, stay. Good boy. Everything that's that you can see that is sticking out. So like I said, it's a very nice and neat way of doing it, but it's also a very time consuming and very hard on the joints way of doing it. This is how I did all the dogs that I groomed. I would just stand there brushing and clipping, brushing and scissoring. And it's easier on this back leg for us because he's wavy fleece on the back leg, but on the front leg, this one, you can see he's got a lot of poodly hair but it's still exactly the same process. Good boy, I know you don't like this leg being such What a good boy, what a good boy. There you go. So it's still, you just keep on combing up. You can use a scissor spray. Um, that is something that I've used. And again, I would start just by making a line down the front and then keep on brushing up and then just cut everything that sticks out. But like I said, for me, it just is too time consuming. I, I finish it off by scissoring, but I will just take most of it off with the clippers. So I've got my three quarter blade again. Like I said, usually I would do three quarters on his leg and a half inch all over, but I want to keep him at three quarters at the minute. So we're just going to take his leg and just go down. This will leave some marks some stripes sometimes but you know I don't mind that I think because he's so uneven it kind of blends in anyway so you're just going to go all the way down right to the end of the port I know darling he doesn't like this leg being done for some reason and then go down the side the outside I know and then underneath on the outside be very careful that they don't catch their paws Good boy. Then you want to go down the inside. So just pull his leg slightly forward and then go down. But I'm going to try and feel for his dew claw. I'm going to feel for the dew claw and that little paw pad and make sure you're covering it. And this is the bit where you will need to scissor around because obviously you don't want to just put the um, clippers across it because otherwise you'll catch their dew claw. Then we'll do underneath, like so. If ever you do come across anything as you're using your clippers, do just check, you know, if there's any resistance, check that it's not a really big mat because that you're just not gonna get through it by using your clippers without using a shorter blade. Um, but it could be a lump or something that you've discovered. Back legs are exactly the same. I'm just going to go down them. I'm going to go a bit lighter on the back legs on my hand because they can look really skinny. <laughs> Obviously on the back legs you don't need to worry about dew claws, although I think there is one breed of dog that has dew claws on the back and I can't remember what it is, so hopefully you will know if you have that dog. <laughs>
Okay, so now we have, oh darling, I know, he doesn't like these legs being done, do you? It's not too bad with the back ones, actually. It seems to be the front ones that he's more bothered about. So, firstly, you can see that there's a big chunk of hair here sticking out. So we need to sort of blend in, especially if you have chosen to do a different size on the bottom. So I'm just going to brush up and on any bits that are sticking out, just chop them away. So brushed up and I can see that bit here. Obviously make sure that you're not catching his skin and just chop downwards. And obviously be careful if you've not got such a good doggy as mine. He wasn't always this, dog, this calm, you know, you do need to train to do this, like train the dog, I don't mean train as in the person, but you do need to train the doggy. So I'm just brushing that up and then I'm going to take this and cut a little bit more. He's got a strange little hole here in his leg where he had his, um, what do you call those things? What are they called? What are they called, that little thing that was in there? Cannula, that's the word I was thinking of. So at the bottom, you can see at the minute probably, his leg looks skinny and his foot looks big. And that's because you can't really use your clippers too much at the bottom. So we want to do his foot. So first thing I want to do is get any hair off of the foot that he's been standing in and then just brush it out Now, when it's longer it's actually much easier to do but you're basically going to just follow the line of the foot now if he won't hold his foot onto the board like that let's see if you have here good boy then what you can do is hold the other foot so hold this foot and then you can start trimming around here please be very very careful doing this because you you just want to make sure you're sort of almost too far out because you don't want to catch the toes and so you're just going to cut round oh goodness i'm getting my fright there i thought i'd thought i'd caught him but i haven't so that's you cut in the shape of the foot but the bottom of the foot will need some work and so again we're just going to hold his foot out straight like this brush all the fur backwards so we're doing it like this and then go into it and just into a straight line that's a good boy it's not much fun for you is it and at, this is a really good angle to have a look at your cutting and how it's looking and because you can just brush all the fur back and make sure nothing is sticking out from any side so i'm looking at it from the front i can hold it and cut off any extra bits at the side here and then the same on this side good boy good boy good boy that's good let's have a look it still looks quite big at the bottom so i've got a bit more chopping to do so again you can do some chopping while he's got his foot down all the different angles that they sit in, just try and take advantage of them so while he's sitting i'm just going to keep on brushing his fur up on these little tootsies i know darling i know i know it's not very nice is it no so just keep on brushing his fur up like that
Okay, with this paw here, I want to look at the underneath of it. So the way to do it is to flip it backwards. That's the most comfortable for them. Now, I'm not gonna be clearing his paw pads here because that's something I'll need to do a separate video on. But what I do want to do is just make sure there's not any by his, his back paw there. So I'm just gonna cut some of the hair a bit haphazardly, I know, but it's just all about you not tripping over, isn't it? It's not looking too bad, is it? Let's have a look, let's have a look. There's a good boy, so I'm just going to run my comb through it and see if there's any little odd bits I need to get. There we go. So just keep on fluffing up the fur and just taking off any extra bits. Once you start to do this yourself, you realise, oh my goodness, how much work goes into this. I don't know how the professionals do it, I really don't. And you can cut a bit further in here, just at the joint of the foot, just to make it look more like a foot. So I'm just going to show you the front of his feet, if we can get him to turn around for us. Okay, so can you see his two feet? I'm going to try and quickly get a close up before he decides to change position. You see the difference in the one that's done and the one that's not. 